back to Sweet Talk. I'm Charity Head, author of the baking blog, Sweets by Charity, and I'm really excited. We have with us today on Sweet Talk one of my all-time favorite baking bloggers, Kristen Hoffman of Baker Betty is here, and she's going to tell us a little bit about how you can use the words baking and healthy in the same sentence when you're trying to take care of those New Year's resolutions. Hey, Kristen, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, thanks Hi. for having me. We're so glad you're here. So first of all, just tell us a little bit about your blog, how you got started with Baker Betty, and just why you love baking and blogging about it. Okay. Well, I started my blog just about a year ago. I actually just celebrated my one-year anniversary of my blog. Um, and like you said, my blog is Baker Betty, and I've just kind of been fascinated with baking and um, the science of baking for a few years. And um, I used to have my own cookie business um, a few years ago, and um, it ended up kind of taking off faster than I was able to handle, um, so I had to kind of step away from that, but I just really missed baking and having like a reason to bake all the time, so I decided to start blogging about it, and I just fell in love with it. Um, I have been doing it for just a little over a year, and um, it's probably the second biggest thing that brings me the most joy in life, really, other than my husband, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. Um, recently, you made kind of a conscious de decision to provide more healthy recipes on your blog, more natural recipes, vegan-friendly. Uh, what was the basis behind that decision? Why did you decide to do that? Well, um, in April, I watched the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, and if you haven't watched that movie, I highly recommend it. I'm sure a lot of people have. It's kind of exploded over the internet world. A lot of people are talking about it, but it really just kind of completely changed my perspective on the way I eat and what I'm putting in my into my body, and really made me realize that I need to make like a conscious decision about that, and that I'm not... Um, invincible. And so yeah. um, I started doing a lot of research about healthier baking alternatives and just experimenting a lot with that. Um, really because of that movie, it really just opened my eyes to some things. For those of us that are trying to stay healthy with our New Year's resolutions, what are some of the best healthy cookie recipes they can find on your blog? Well, I actually have a single serving cookie recipe mm -hmm. on my blog that is both vegan and grain free and refined sugar free as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's kind of awesome because it's sort of like portion control built right in uh, and it's really easy to make. Um, but I think probably my favorite healthier cookie recipe is a salted caramel skillet cookie that I made. Um, essentially, you make this vegan, sugar-free, salted caramel sauce mm -hmm. that then you just mix with almond flour and bake it in a skillet, and it, it's amazing. You would never know that it's a healthy recipe or that it's vegan or gluten-free, and um, I think that one turned out pretty cool. So, Kristen, what are some of your go-to recipe substitutions when you want to make a recipe healthier? Well, one of the biggest things that I'm concerned about is how much animal products I'm consuming. So I do a lot of vegan substitutions. Um, Earth Balance Vegan Butter is a really great alternative butter substitution out there. Um, as far as vegan eggs go, um, you can use um, banana as a substitute for egg or um, applesauce. Um, there's also Energy Egg Replacer is a very popular egg substitute, but my favorite egg substitute is um, what I call chia eggs, and if you're not familiar with chia seeds, they are actually the same thing used to grow the hair on chia pets, um, but basically you just mix the seeds with water, and they become a gel, and it can be used in place of an egg. Well, do you have any exciting things coming up this year that we should know about on Baker Betty? Well, I'm definitely going to continue doing a lot of experimenting with healthier baking options. You'll see a lot of vegan recipes, a lot more grain-free recipes. And I'd like to start experimenting more with raw recipes. Um, I've only done a couple of those on my blog, and I'd like to do some more of that. Um, there's definitely going to be another big Cookie Wars contest. I'm going to be looking for some sponsors to make that contest even more exciting and big and fun. And we're going to have some more categories this year, too, some alternative baking categories. So. 
Well, very cool. We're very excited to see what you have coming up. Thank you so much for joining us on Sweet Talk, Kristen. Thanks, Charity. If you want to check out some of Kristen's recipes, and you should, she's got a lot of great stuff on her blog at bakerbetty.com. In the meantime, if you are trying to stick to your New Year's resolutions, you want to check out some healthy recipes. We're talking all month on my blog about how to have your cake, eat it too, and still stick to your New Year's resolutions. So head over to sweetsbycharity.com. For this episode of Sweet Talk, I'm Charity Hitt, and I'll see you next time.